Listras has emerged from the shadows to launch an attack on Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and this she did in an article published Sunday in The Telegraph. And this follows on from Boris Johnson. So now two former Prime Ministers really determined not to let the present one be. The knives are out. Listras has said in her article that, and this is an article that has surprised everyone really, we all thought that she was into a sort of a shameful retreat into silence. But now she says that her policies were right. Policies of low tax to build growth, that these were conservative policies. And she was on the right path, in the right direction, but she just went about it the wrong way. She does acknowledge that. She says she was brought down by a left-wing economic establishment and that was led by the media and by people more widely. But that if growth is what Britain wants, her policies were the policies for Britain to follow and still are the policies for Britain to follow. Britain, no doubt, is in a recession. It has not shown any growth and she is clearly blaming Rishi Sunak's policies for this position. She was clearly arguing entirely in line with her campaign earlier. Rishi Sunak's policies, uh, she said, would inhibit growth and she now says that the recession confirms that she was right and Britain indeed is the only country, is the only major country that is not recording growth at present. What she really is trying to suggest is that the Conservative Party needs to follow conservative policies under a truly conservative leader. And she said this straight after a Boris Johnson interview in which he said that Sunak must cut taxes to boost growth and that the Conservatives will win the next election because they would have cut taxes after saying earlier that he would lead the party into the next election. Clearly, he is pointing the direction in which he thinks the party should go. So now we have two former prime ministers, though both have been discredited in their own ways, projecting themselves as truly conservative in place of Rishi Sunak. What matters, of course, is that the party members are the ones who will decide who will lead the party into the next election. And this kind of statement by one and then the other is making the case for either one or the other.